Hi, my name is John Weber. I'm a licensed real estate broker here in the low country of South Carolina, Hilton Head, Bluffton, Okatee, and Hardyville. If you're interested in buying property and you'd like the use of a buyer's broker, then I'm your man. So let's continue to watch the video and I'll explain to you on this video what a buyer's broker does and who pays all these commissions. So let's get down to it. So I've been selling real estate uh, in luxury communities for 35 years and I've learned a lot obviously and I'm still making mistakes but that's the way it goes. Um, what I'm here to talk to you today about is the law in South Carolina with real estate and there is a buyer side and there's a seller side and the American public is confused to be honest with you because they don't know that much about it because these states have different laws. But in South Carolina, when you walk into a real estate office, a builder's office, a developer's office, they're going to treat you as a customer or a client. If you're a customer, you have no representation and they're all going to be friendly to you and all that, but they only have their best interest at heart because they're trying to sell you property. If you walk in as a client, then you are a client of a buyer's agent like me buyer's broker and I'm with Charter One Realty and you have the uh, brokerage company behind you which is powerful because we're the number one real estate company in the entire area. This year we'll hit a billion dollars in sales. Anyway, you want to have a buyer's brokerage in your back pocket because they're going to look after your best interest and guess what in South Carolina the seller is paying the commissions. Not always, but typically they are. Now, it's going to happen one day to where the state of South Carolina is going to figure all this out and the seller is going to go, why am I paying the commission for the buyer's broker side? Why don't I just pay my selling side and everybody else has their buyer's broker? That's not the way it is now. The way it is now is they're listing their property, their home site or their home for a commission that's all over the board, all kinds of commissions, and that's a co-broke with the selling side. It is typically a split, but it could be anything. But anyway, I, people walk into my office all the time and they do not know that they need a buyer's agent. Uh, I work by appointment only. There is a form that, there's two forms actually. One is uh, agency disclosure explaining just what I just told you the different uh, relationships in agency and real estate law. And the other one is a buyer's agreement. Um, all of these are legal documents. They are presented to you when you buy real estate. But if you don't uh, get yourself a buyer's agent, you run the risk of possibly working with a rookie real estate agent, uh, someone who doesn't know the laws, they don't know the HOA fees, and I'm not picking on realtors because you can. I'm sure you've bought a car before and the guy selling the car didn't know anything about it. You've bought furniture before, high ticket items, they don't know anything about it. It's always nice to work with a professional who's full time. So, that said, um, if I can be of service to you, I will send you information. I'll set up an MLS portal for you where you can look at different uh, gated communities and clubs and get the latest information and I offer a concierge service if you were to come down to the low country look at real estate and uh, I will look after your best interest in a confidential manner. John Weber, Low Country Buyers Broker 843-295-2114 come on down and we will find your dream home in the low country. <laughs> 